Okay, this is where we want to do start. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion, Part 69, Concerting. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that carrying a recap across two streams has become a thing in this series. For one thing, it's part of the theme of new work methods this year. Um, next, we're in a new project where a movie and movie music are relevant as inputs to planning. And finally, we worked on a new animation today, which required a lot of trial and error adjustments. So we worked, continued to work with uh, the seven composition, which you, uh, which is this, and it sounds like this. And we like how it sounds, but we wanted to have uh, more themes to go with it. So we identified one, two, three, four, and kind of a theme six, and then a five, but we wanted more than that. So what we've been doing is uh, creating a new improvisation called nine. And for example, whenever the first theme turns out to be a C15, We identified a counter theme over here. So we're going to play that whole thing for you in a minute. Uh, next, we continue to work with the animation of all the way back to Improvisation 5, which recall is using a Reaper processed reverb left channel and a straight right channel. And what we've come up with so far looks like this. So the things to highlight here are we're driving the melody from orange to green. The size of the dot is varying based on cadence. The movement of the dot to the right is being driven by cadence. And then even the background color is being s driven slightly off from violet by the, by the melody. So we're making progress there and it needs more work. Uh, another cool thing that we did was we took good old uh, six, which was way back here, one of the also earlier variations. And we've turned it into eight movie music. So what you just heard, we'll repeat that for you, is now the intro for this video. And for the extra of this video, man, this is a long one. And you'll hear that on this part. And so basically we've taken the low consonants as the intro and the higher consonants as the extra and using only the unison parts out of what we call improvisation six. So we didn't use any of these things in here because we didn't know what else to do with it. So that brings us to play for you what we're working on right now, Improvisation 9. And we're, we float it down so that we can listen to these themes and, and hear where we think the counter themes might want to go. We're kind of happy with the regular themes.
So what we like about it is we came up with a method to generate new themes. What we wish about it is that these new themes are a heck of a lot more exciting. So we're kind of in the middle of experimenting with them and changing the order of the notes. The notes are the exact reflections of the notes in their corresponding chords. So theme six and counter theme six have the same uh, are, are perfect reflections in terms of notes, but they're not perfect reflections of a ramp down and an arc up or whatever and all that. So that leads us to our ideas for next time. We want to keep working with the five animation. We want to keep working with the nine composition. Um, I guess we ought to say that in here. Uh, just counter themes further. Uh, shout outs to I'm a Game Breaker and Nope132 who stopped by today. We appreciate it. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Please come back and do keep on streaming.